This is Cheyenne, this is a sports wrap up. This past week for the boys varsity soccer team was a rough one with a few bright spots. On Monday the 24th, they took on Boyertown, losing to a score of 6-0. But with praise for keeping their play style clean. Then on Wednesday the 26th, they went against Springford, losing to the score of 6-1, with the goal coming from Gabe Teller. Being only the third team to score on them, this year was a bright spot for the team, making them excited for the upcoming game. It starts on Tuesday the 2nd at home against Perk Valley, then a huge away night game against Owen J. Roberts on Thursday the 4th, and wrap up the week Friday the 5th at Quakertown, root on the soccer team. On Friday, September 28th, in a long penalty first half, Nardstown defense held Perk Valley to only six points. Last two minutes after a strong, a drive highlight by a series strong aerial assault from Daniel Watson to Xavier Gorski. Watson scored with a quarterback sneak, ending with Nardstown 7 and PV6. Nardstown held PV from scoring through a through majority of second half after a few key turnovers, opening a door late game PV touchdown. Also a conversion so PV won 14 to seven. Next game against ONJ Roberts Friday night. Stay tuned and be there. I'm Michael Kinsey here with the girls varsity soccer wrap up. This past week they had three games. It started last Friday with a 6-2 win against Glen Mills, all goals scored by Emily Schools. Then on Monday the 24th against Boyertown, they lost by the score of 9-0. On Wednesday, they, the 26th, they took on Springford, losing by the score of 8-0. The team is hoping to bounce back and finish the season strong. Next week, they have three games, which includes an away game on Tuesday the 2nd at Perk Valley. Then on Thursday and Friday, the 4th and 5th, they play ONJ and Reading respectively. Go out and support your girls' varsity soccer. Norristown's varsity volleyball team had a competitive match against PJP Thursday, September 27th. We had great defense with plenty of dives and digs by Shannon Taylor, this year being her first year playing the libero role. The varsity team continues to set, pass, and hit with excellent flows being extremely competitive. Overall, the score was 25-19 with Norristown taking a a close loss of 19 with PJP taking 25 home. The girls' practice, the girls practice continues to be hardworking. The first set, 25 to 19. The second set was 25 to 9, and the third set was 25 to 7. The girls continue to show lots of improvement with each game that we have. This is Alvino, and this is your sports record. Don't forget to tune in to NSAD TV archive on YouTube.